Hello, all my loves out there in YouTube land and anywhere else I upload this. Um, it is a wonderful Wednesday night, and I just wanted to get on here and talk about a few subjects. Three different things, actually. Um, one of them happened a long time ago. Well, not that long ago, but it was a little bit of a heated debate that I got in with another YouTuber by the name of Wakefield19D. And of course I won because it was about sexual orientation. But I'll get into that in more detail after I get these other two subjects out of the way. Two, I am b temporarily... <laughs> it's funny at this point, I can't say this with a straight face. I'm temporarily blocked on Facebook again. And it hasn't even been a month since my last block was up. That one was for a bullshit reason. This time, they didn't even tell me why. It just, I just logged in one morning when I was out of town and it said you're blocked for 30 days because something you posted violated the community standards, all that shit. And I'm like, okay, well, evidently something that I posted offended somebody. I did notice that a guy that I used to talk to recently unfriended me, and we had some arguments about uh, spirituality, which, you know, as an atheist, I don't believe in, and he's all about energy, believes that he can heal with energy, and believes in supernatural shit and conspiracy theories, and I got into an argument with him. He might have reported me for some of the comments that I made in our argument. It's a possibility. So, and you know what? The only thing that really bothers me about that is that it, the block won't be up until after Pride. So Atlanta's LGBT Pride is going to happen the first, I think, first or second weekend of October. I should know this, but I don't. But I'll figure it out after, whenever I need to. Um, some friends are coming to town, and it's going to be a good time, but I won't have Facebook. The good news is I've got Instagram, YouTube, Tumblr, which, well, I only use that for porn, but I still have it, and Twitter. All my other social networks are in good standing, so it's not that big of a deal. I'll just wait until the end of October to get, or the mid-October to get unblocked. The third thing that I want to touch on really quick is HIV. Um, it's been over a year now since I was diagnosed, and I'm still undetectable, of course, that I reached that milestone earlier this year, sooner than expected. And, um, you know, my my family and friends, they were just so happy for me. when I. That's a big milestone when you're HIV positive, is to reach undetectable status. That means that the virus has been suppressed by the medicines, the amazing medicine that they have now to the point where it's it's just such a low level in your body that it's undetectable. So, it'll still be there unless they find a cure within my lifetime, which I'm not really putting money on it. But, um, yeah, and I'm still feeling good. Still, uh, you know, it, since I had my little, ran into a rough spot earlier this year with alcohol, I have drank a few times on special occasions, as I call them, but, you know, all my friends are still praising me because I will go long periods of time, like months at a time, before I have a few drinks here and there if I go out with friends. And it's all about moderation, really. I don't really want to be one of those people that just quits for like, and then 20 years later, I'm, I'm this old man hosting an AA meeting saying, I haven't had a drink for 30 years, y'all. No, I mean, it's all about self-control. And I think I've got it under control now. It's good. I'm doing good, health-wise. I'm still, you know, I have medications that I take for mental health because I am mentally ill. But... I'm doing well in that department too. I've got doctors that are taking care of me and I got all my shit together. So that's some good news. Okay. Now, about this Wakefield 19D dude. 
our this started um, some months ago. There was a guy, his username, I don't really know who the guy is, to be honest, on his YouTube channel, Wakefield1980 is, is his uh, username. On his channel, he's got a bunch of videos shooting guns, and one, I think it was like from some Middle Eastern country where some guy was arm wrestling. He's former military, I believe an army veteran. And we got into a very heated discussion that spilled over onto my channel. And I actually made a short video to him correcting his wrongs when it comes to sexual orientation, the different theories, and the factual data that exists as far as the research that has gone into understanding why are some people gay. He wanted to argue with me about it. So I eventually had the last word because nothing beats personal experience. I mean, how does a straight man think that he can actually argue with a gay man and say, well, no, you chose an alternative lifestyle? No. I know that I didn't make a conscious choice. And numerous experts on this issue now lean towards the belief that there is a biological basis, mostly biological at least, when it comes to sexual orientation. I don't know for sure why I'm gay. I just know that there has been research done and this guy just wasn't having it. There was research done, I believe it was in 2008 by Ivanka Savick and her colleague, Pierre Lindstrom, that found brain structure differences. If you look at the brain of a gay man, like my brain, put it next to a straight man's, you're gonna see structural differences. And you can't inject liberal bias or victim mentality as Wakefield was trying to propose that I was buying into victim mentality, which I'm not. You can't inject bias into a brain scan. You can't inject bias into research because the people that are doing this, they're not really thinking about politics. They're thinking about they want to find the goddamn answers. <laughs> they don't give a fuck about Democrats, Republicans, liberal versus conservative. This is not bias research. And other researchers believe that there could very well be a genetic influence, maybe not completely, but in part genetic. That's not to say that there's a gay gene. I don't believe that there's a single gay gene. There might be multiple genes, alleles as they're called in the study, that influence or help influence sexual orientation. Um, others believe that uterine environment can play a role. There is also... Um, my mind just went blank, and that's not good. Oh, it, there's a couple of theories that it could be an evolutionary trait to help uh, straight alpha males in a tribe have a better chance at spreading their seed and reproducing, as well as making sure that there's a helper in the nest, so to speak, somebody that doesn't have kids, and that person would be gay because we don't have kids. It's, I think some people call it the gay uncle theory. And I am a gay uncle, so that's fitting. I need to quit pulling a Marco Rubio and drinking water while I'm trying to do a video blog about serious stuff. But yeah, the argument got so incredibly heated. Um, I do regret, I, I did kind of cuss at him and call him a fucking idiot a few times, and I shouldn't have done that. That's not reasonable of me. I think I was still 29 at the time, so I was still getting a few, a little bit of that angst from my 20s out. And if that argument had happened today, I think I would have been much more reasonable and calm and in control of my emotions. But it did get pretty ugly. I actually, I temporarily blocked him because I basically, I, the way that I uh, described it was I held him in contempt of my channel. 
because he got downright disrespectful. He was bringing my family into it, talking about, well, you have HIV, so now you have to explain to your family why you live the lifestyle that led to that. And I'm like, my parents aren't dumbasses. They don't think being gay is a lifestyle, and they accepted me for who I was way back when I was 14. They know how this whole thing operates, and they're also educated about HIV and AIDS. It's not a big deal for them. And then came the whole victim mentality. He said, your community has brainwashed you. I can't remember exactly how he put it, but it's it, he was trying to say something to the effect of your community brainwashed you into thinking that you're a victim. Well, no, I'm not a victim. I don't believe that anybody who has a heartbeat and is conscious is a victim. I'm a survivor. I've survived a lot of shit in my life, and he probably has too. He was probably saw war over there in Iraq. So the uh, the good the good thing is he actually did state more than once he doesn't really have a problem with gay people and that's fine. We can agree to disagree then. But I had to hold him in contempt. I gave him a chance to come back and he was like still on about, "Well, you couldn't handle me proving you wrong." Even though he didn't prove me wrong about anything, it was quite the opposite. And I ended up having a last word. So that was that. And I just feel so successful. I know that, you know, being somebody who's supposed to be more mature and in control of my emotions, that was just, that was a major moment of success for me. Because this guy just picked the wrong hornet's nest to poke at. Especially coming to my channel. It's the Queen's Kangaroo Court. So... I've got other things that I would like to talk about a little bit later in the week. I might wait until this weekend. But um, that's it for now, and I am so surprised that I didn't get that close to the 15-minute mark. So I hope you all have a wonderful Wednesday and a great rest of the week. Whenever I talk to you again, I'll just see you then.